Uh, and welcome back one more time to the famous Turdford Network. All right, today's video is going to be doing the sketches for our mirror and lens lab. And so the sketches are what I'm going to refer to as ray diagrams. Now, the first thing you need to do is this. So, like, first thing to get started with, I'm going to move this arrow out of the way. But you need to make four pictures that look just like this. In other words, just go ahead and do this four times. Four diagrams that look like this. Ignore the arrow. You need four of these. And so this represents my convex lens. I've got an F on each side. Now, one of the biggest hints I'm going to give you is when you're doing this, when you're drawing this, these Fs and two Fs, all this stuff needs to be spaced out. If you space it out perfectly evenly, well, you're not going to have any problems. Well, you're looking at me and you're going, but hey, you've got a computer to draw this on. It's so much easier. Hey, I promise I've drawn a ton of these diagrams. Here's what you do if you're going to try and draw them. So again, you need to draw 10 of these basic templates that look like that. So what I would do is take my ruler and I would go somewhere on my ruler. It can be inches, centimeters. It doesn't matter. It's just a fact of getting them even. I would put a dot in the center, and then I would go evenly to both sides of that dot. So watch what I do here to get my template. I'm going to go four right. Then I'm going to go four left. I'm going to go another four to the left, another four to the right. So if you take a look, I've got my basic little drawing here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and I'm going to draw a little dashed line through here. I lost my little dot there. I'm going to draw me a little dashed line. I'm going to go back and make those little dots I put red so I don't lose those spots because those are kind of important to me. Two, where was I? This one, 14, and is that far enough? 18, yeah. So four both ways. Now I can get this ruler out of my way. So if I look, I've got these little spots. Now here's what I'm going to do. And again, this is the big thing, this evenness. And now I'm going to come back. I know where the center of this is. I'm going to take my ruler. I'm going to draw my lens. Well, I'm not really going to draw the lens. I'm going to, and again, watch how I'm using my ruler so that I kind of keep even. I'm just going to go in here, and I'm going to make a little dotted line. I just need a little, some kind of line, just for some kind of a reference here down the center. So get my ruler, get that in the center. Now I can really probably get rid of my ruler for a while. Again, I'm just helping you get this template started. Ew, mine's a little ugly. Geez, I'm glad I can do mine on my computer after all. And now I'm going to come back and see if I can't make my lens. And this is... Oh, now this is beautiful. Oh. And how about this? I feel your pain, at least, in trying to draw this perfect lens. But you need, and it's going to look just like this. You need an F on each side of that lens and a 2F on each side of the lens. But that's how you take time to try and get this drawing started. And then what you're going to do is you're going to end up with four different pictures. You're going to end up with one picture where the arrow is out here. You're going to draw an arrow out here past 2F. You're going to draw another one where the arrow is actually, again, these arrows represent the candles that we burned in the lab. You're going to draw another picture actually on 2F. Then we'll come here. So, again, I'm, there's going to be four separate pictures, and you'll see what I'm talking about, and I think this is y'all's last one. So we're going to end up with four different pictures for the lens, and then we're also going to end up with four different pictures for the mirror. And the mirror, you're going to need four basic templates. And that's where I would stop this video at some point, work on these, getting these templates done. For the mirror, let's see, I'm going to just go ahead, I'm going to slap my mirror. I'm going to say the mirror is going to go there, and then there's going to be F, and then I'm going to slip out here the same distance. There's going to be 2F, and then I'm going to come back, and I'm going to draw my dotted dash line. Da, 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 da. Just like that. 
Oh yeah, I'm even going to extend my dashes all the way across. And then we'll come back and I'm going to draw the best mirror that has ever been drawn. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That is beautiful. I'm going to come back and do my F, make sure it's nice and bold where I can see it, and my 2F. So there, there is my basic drawings that I need. So I need four lenses and I need four mirrors. And I'll give you a hint, the better job you do drawing these mirrors, the better your pictures are going to be in these photos. All right, so let's go back to how do you draw these diagrams. So are you ready? You've got four of each of these ready. So four pictures ready. So here comes number one. Number one, go. So, and I'm going to get to cheat a little. I hate to say it because I can actually use my little arrows and everything. So I'm going to get my arrow. And what I'm going to do now is get my arrow. Do, do, do. Don't want too big of an arrow. I'm going to use some red. Yeah. Nah, blue. Let's get crazy. And so the first line I draw, and you would use a ruler, draw the first line. This is every diagram. First ray goes straight to the lens, and then draw your ray straight through the focal point. Second ray, this is easy, goes straight through the center. Bam. Done. So there's my first picture. I'm not finished with it yet, but I'm pretty close. Next picture. Look at this. The arrow is going to go on 2F, and I do the same thing. Look where my arrow is. First ray, I'm going to draw it straight to the lens, and then straight through the focus. Look at this. I'm drawing these arrows. I'm like, yeah, look at me. I'm drawing them really long. And then the next one, I'm going to draw it straight through the center of the lens and look at me lining it up for the center boom so there's my picture for number two look this is easy i make drawing fun picture number three this is my 35 centimeter one and so there's 20 over here was 40 so this one's kind of drawing right in the middle first ray goes straight to the lens and then bend it through the focal point and then the second ray goes right through the middle now this is fascinating so look at where the lines are crossing that's going to be important in a little bit and now let's go and let's do the fourth one so here's the fourth one this is our 15 centimeter one so this is when we're at 15 centimeters so look at this one we're at 15 centimeters right to the lens to the center and then right through the focal and then the second one now you're going to notice something Look at this. The two light rays never, ever cross each other. Now, that's going to be really important here in a little bit. And that's why I got a feeling most people on this lab, you probably wrote NA, not available. When you tried to get an image on that one, you couldn't see anything. All right. Well, now let's go to the mirror. So next to the mirror. So here's our first mirror. The first mirror we had was at 45 centimeters. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to draw a ray to the mirror, and it's going to hit the mirror and bounce off through the focal point. Boom. The second one, now this is what will be different. I'm going to draw it right to the middle. So this part looks the same as the lens, but when I bounce it off, I'm going to bounce it off, and this is important, the angle. See this angle that I'm making? The angle needs to be the exact same as the other one, as the one up here, the one that came in. So I need those two angles to look the same. So what I'm referring to is whatever angle this is, this other one should be the exact same angle. And I've done that pretty close. Let's do the next one. The next one we got is 2F. So let's do the same thing. We're on 2F. So that represents our candle. So it here comes in, reflect it, and boom. And notice how long I'm drawing this. There's no limit. Next one, straight to the middle. Now bounce it right off. This is already getting same angle if I can. 
Too big, not enough. Same, same. Mmm. I ain't liking that one. We'll try it one more time. Right to the middle. Mmm. My picture is not going to be too good for some reason. And bounce it off. I was trying to cheat a little. I'll be honest, it should cross right here. And mine's, I'm cheating a little bit to make mine cross. And if you look, I'm making it cross directly underneath the 2F. That's my goal. And then the next one, do the same thing. One arrow, straight to the lens. Now bounce it off. Bounce it off back through F. Other lens, other drawing. Straight to the middle. Hit that sucker, bounce it off at the exact same angle. And they cross way out here. And then the very last one, straight to it. Now bounce it off. Go straight to the center. Bounce it off at the exact same angle. And Houston, we have a problem on this one. All right, so we've got four drawings at this point that should be halfway ready to go. I'm going to go back to the very first one. So I'm going to label this drawing. So my first drawing, let's see if I can remember this right. This is when P is greater than 2F. And here's what happens. I'm going to draw a little arrow. Wherever these two cross, I'm going to put a little arrow there because that's where we should have found the candle. We should have found our picture of that candle somewhere right there between F and 2F. All right, the next one. This one was when P was equal to 2F, which this was our, for us, this was our 40. And now let's see. This one should have been right, and I didn't really cheat on this one. It just worked out just about right. This one should have been, what's cool about this is if you're at 40 on this side, it should come straight out to 40 on that side if, if everything worked right in your lab. So that's kind of a neat thing. And my drawing actually turned out great on that one. Next one, again, wherever the lines cross, I'm going to put an arrow. So give me my red back. So I'm going to draw my arrow. Ooh, this is an ugly looking arrow. Now, oh, that's a horrible looking arrow. Ah, oh, geez, I apologize. See, I could have used my little app by trying to keep it legit. Now, I want you to notice something about this picture. And I believe this one was when, let's see if I can remember this, P was greater than F, but less than 2F is what this one is. Hey, I hope you noticed something. Look at how big that arrow is. That's why this one you should have probably had like an M of 2 on because it should have been about twice as big on this one. I think for us, this was uh, like, uh, what was it, uh, 30? Yeah, I think this one was 30 centimeters is what we used on this one. But anyway, and then let's do the very last one. Now, the very last one, you're going to notice something. The rays never, ever, ever cross each other. So what I'm going to do is this. What our eyes would do in this situation, our eyes would actually do something. Our eyes would actually trace these pictures backwards. In other words, our eyes would lead us to believe, well, where is this ray coming from? So my eyeball would trace these backwards to where it thought there was an object. So what happens is this, my eyes fake me out. They fool me into thinking that there is a gigantic, that's how a magnifying glass works. Magnifying glass creates what's known as a virtual image. And here's something that's huge. Anytime, anytime P is less than F, which by the way, that's what this is. P is less than F. Whenever P is less than F, you get a virtual image. These rays never intersect each other. So we get a virtual image on here. This is like the longest video ever. I'm going to keep on going. This guy, wherever they cross, we're going to put an arrow. 
And so this is a pretty good indication of where we should have found our images. So in this one, I'm going to guess somewhere in the 30s is where you found your image. And I think this one, this is our mirror, and I think this is P is greater than, what is it, P is greater than 2F. Next one was P equals 2F. And this one, if you drew your picture right, it should be directly underneath. So in other words, on this one, you should have almost set your sheet of paper on fire with the candle. They should have been side by side. The only difference is you're noticing this upside down uh, image here. It's an inverted image. All right, so we got that one. One more. And then we get down here to this last one. And what did we see? You should have seen a huge upside-down candle burning on this one. Should have been like twice as big. And then on the very last one, I'm going to have to do a little uh, alterations here. I run myself out of room. See if I can slide all this over to give myself some room. I know you can't do that, but I can. The very last one, this is when P is, what was it? P is less than F. Notice how the rays, one more time, the rays do not actually cross each other. So what my eyes are going to do is my eyes are going to trace these, my eyes are going to trace these rays backward. And this is why if I look in a concave mirror, wow, I, I'd have to really go back and work on my drawings a little bit because this thing crosses like somewhere way over here. What I end up seeing, da, 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 somewhere over here, I see a huge candle. And that's why if I look at my own eye, I see a huge eyeball. That's because I'm really, really close. And one more time, this is known as a virtual image at this point. Now, this is actually every drawing for the lab. I'll walk through them in class, but should you miss these, uh, hopefully you can go back and watch this video and you can complete all your drawings by watching these videos. Yeah, I have to say, these are not my best, but hey, they're not too bad, though. Anyway, so thank you for watching Turd Network. Uh, peace out, love. Hey, anybody try the hot wings? Bye.